Hello everybody and welcome to another My Anime Samurai video. Today we're gonna visit Kaiyukan Aquarium in Osaka. Located at Temposan Harbour Village, an entertainment and shopping complex that includes Temposan Marketplace, a food theme park, Temposan Giant Ferris Wheel, Legoland Park, cruise ship Santa Maria, and also a fast shuttle ferry called Captain Line. The aquarium is in the world of Minato, just five minutes walk away from Osakako Station that you will reach through the Chuo Line. It opened in 1990, and at the time, it was the biggest aquarium in the world. The most iconic animal on display is the whale shark. But let's start our visit. This tunnel surrounded by water and fish is the introduction to what waits ahead for us. Then, using the escalator, we will have to go to the 8th floor from where we will go down making a spiral around the building and visiting the different rooms. This will allow us to discover regions such as Japan Forest, Antarctica or Pacific Ocean. The top level represents Japan forest wildlife, as you can see in this part of the video. There is no doubt that the recreation is impressive. I am aware that for some of you this video could be very long. Still, I will recommend you to be patient especially if you want to see the incredible whale sharks, dolphins, penguins, rays, seals, and so many more. The tour will take you roughly two and a half hours while you walk through and discover all sorts of marine life in its unique habitats. The aquarium holds more than 30,000 creatures, which roughly makes it around 620 species. It is also worth mention that the aquarium works as a research institution, mostly focusing on sharks and rays. Here you will find around 85 different species of them. Before visiting, make sure to stop by their official web page. You will find information about opening and closing times, ticket prices, exhibitions taking place, and most important, if the day you are planning to visit the aquarium, it is closed due to a festivity or not. It is also important to check the feeding times for some of the animals. For instance, dolphins, penguins and seals. They have a very unique and special behavior at that time. 
in some parts of this video, you will see how lucky I was to catch those moments on camera. I think a Yukon Aquarium is a great destination if you are planning to spend some time with your family, with your friends, or even on a date with that special person. If you have visited this aquarium or any other one, feel free to share your experience and thoughts in the comment section. I am sure it will be useful for anyone reading it. Here you can see how cute and well-behaved penguins are when food is given to them. Aren't they kawaii? Dolphins are also a great attraction in the aquarium. They perform several shows for the audience, especially for the kids who seem to love them. The big crystal windows are fantastic because they allow the audience to follow the movements and the behavior of the dolphins underwater, as well as the other animals in the aquarium. We advance, the deeper we go into the ocean and its wild life. Just be aware that we are about to reach some of the most impressive images that you will see when visiting the aquarium.
Joel, here we are, finally. The images we have been waiting for. The big whale shark swimming in front of us. In fact, there are two of them, two whale sharks. At least they were when I was there visiting. To be honest, this is a magical experience where time seems to stop when contemplating this amazing creature. Moving ahead, we will be able to see different temporary exhibitions that, depending on when you visit, might be different from what you see in these images. At the time of visiting, there was also an exhibition about jellyfish, which I wasn't able to record on camera due to the low light conditions, but it was amazing to see. The last part of the visit will try to educate us on the implications that our human behavior has over all this wildlife that we just met in the aquarium. It is scary to find out how our human behavior affects such in a drastic way all these animals and their habitats. Finally, we get to experience firsthand the interaction with some of these creatures. It's a very nice experience to be able to touch them. Well, that's all for today. I hope you found this video interesting. 
So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.